Right here. These ones. Do you mind if I take these? In the aisle or online, we're putting new ways to shop for groceries to the test. And we wanted to know just how easy it is to shop online and really see if there's a big price difference. And of course, we know there are several online shopping services for different stores. And of course, there's Amazon. There are a lot of variables. So to try to control for those and to get a good apples to apples same day price comparison, we worked with Fred Meyer to compare shopping the old fashioned way with their online service versus the independent Instacart delivery service. All right, here we go. With a list of 27 things. Here's my milk. My family enjoys like eggs for breakfast. All right, those are good. And cream for coffee. Not the fat free kind, I can't stand that kind. I need the full fat. I filled up this shopping cart. Earlier in the day. Okay, $2.99, Fred Meyer milk, add to cart. My producer and I filled another shopping cart, virtually. And my son likes Honey Nut Cheerios. We ordered the exact same items from the same Fred Meyer through their pickup service, which used to be called ClickList. And right after that, we did another round of online shopping. So now we're doing Instacart? This time we used the third party service Instacart. Again, we tried to order the exact same things, and I was also able to use my loyalty card for discounts. The only thing we couldn't order through Instacart that we ordered online through the Fred Meyer website? Not available. Was the same flavor of Kind Bars in a 12 pack. Placing the order. While we wondered what the final bill would be after the Instacart groceries were delivered later in the day, we went to the Hollywood Fred Meyer and met shopper Melissa Camarillo. I put the order in the night before. I show up, I'm like gone in five, maybe seven minutes. She frequently uses Fred Meyer's pickup website and hasn't had any problems with the store getting her particular requests right. I like my bananas to be a little green when I buy them. And so I'll put those instructions in and they read the instructions and they'll pick bananas are a little green for me. In the store, we got everything, except we couldn't find that 12 pack of Kind Bars we ordered online. We ran into Fred Meyer's e-commerce manager, who was also trying to figure out why the Kind Bars we ordered weren't on the shelf. And we're just running through the process to see if, if ah. we actually have it. Did somebody not fill it? Darren Baker says it's typical they'll come up with a substitute. He grabbed three, four packs of the same flavor. <laughs> When I checked out the old-fashioned way, the final bill was one ten twenty-two. Then I drove to the window to get my pickup order. Hello. The bill was a little less, one oh seven twenty-six, because the store gave us the lower online price for those kind bars. So we had to get three of those to make it to the okay. price. Again, that's the substitute for the one twelve pack. We also didn't have to pay the 495 service charge, which was waived as part of a promotion. Hi, how are you? After finishing with the store, I went to a friend's house to receive our Instacart delivery. The toilet paper is very close to what we ordered, a little bit different, same price, but not exactly what we ordered. The only big difference was the final price, 13208. It was 11034 for the groceries plus a 399 delivery fee. We tipped 1103 and then there's another service fee of 552. The higher bottom line is the current cost of convenience in a changing grocery world. The game is always going to be how do you shorten the length of time between when somebody wants it and when they when you can deliver it. Um, so I think speed of delivery is kind of where it's going. How do you shorten that time? Remember the variables we talked about? Well, each service has promotions that can lower or eliminate fees. You can also save money by signing up for monthly or yearly service. We posted more about that on coin.com. Now, one of the benefits of online shopping we learned about, it really comes in handy when you're on a road trip. Say you want to go to Bend and you're trying to get ready, get the family in there. Well, you mm -hmm. could be driving and one of you could be ordering online and have it waiting for you yeah. to pick up when you're in Bend and save all that time and, and then head on to your, store. right, exactly. I kind of like going to the grocery store. So do I. It's just kind of calming and I like to go alone. I like to impulse shop. Oh. Which you can do online too. Yeah. But it's a little bit different. It probably 
would it cut down on that a little bit? Uh, you know, I asked him about this. Will this cut down on impulse shopping? He said, well, we don't really have a choice because if we don't offer online shopping, other stores will. And he said, you'll be surprised how many people impulse buy mm -hmm. online. They see something and they click on it and yeah. they get that too. I go with a list though and I stick pretty much to that. I just go free form. <laughs> well, if you see anything chocolate, then you just yes, grab it I, right off the shelf.